Hey guys, um, good morning, well, it's morning here, I don't know if it's morning there, everywhere else in the world, but, um, uh, eastern coast of Canada, it's good morning. Um, basically, this is gonna be a goodbye video for a few, uh, people. I'm not going anywhere, so don't worry. Um, I'm a bit late, late making this, because I should have made this, like, three or four days ago, but I was really busy had a really busy start to the week, so, just couldn't get a chance, but here I am, and, um, you know, I'm gonna throw a few updates in here, I guess you're looking at something pretty cool here now, um, I'll get to that in a minute, some of you guys probably don't even recognize it yet, but, um, so yeah, uh, Ryan and Nigel are, um, away for a while, um, Nigel is, um, he took a trip to, uh, Europe, so that's Western Star 4900 SA, he's not gonna be making any videos for the next, uh, till late August, he's coming back probably, like, the 20-something of August, so he's gone for a while, so, um, you know, um, if you're still looking into the oil field videos and whatever kind of videos he makes, um, you know, uh, Canadian Cat Skinner, uh, he got mostly oil field videos and equipment videos like that. They're really cool, so, uh, equipment and logging, and Smiley3232, go check them out. Um, they have videos, you know, they're related to nodules. And, uh, we got Ryan, uh, he's gone. Uh, he's coming back Friday, though. He's just gone to camp, um, for the week. But, you know, just making sure that uh, everyone else said he's gone. Um, but they will be back. But as of now, you're just stuck with me out of the three of us. Because the three of us are, like, really close. We're just... We talk all the time. And right now, out of the group of three, you're stuck with me. So. You know. That's it. Until Friday, Ryan will be back. I'd say he'll throw a few stop motions in and whatnot. And I'm planning on making one as well. Um, you know, still waiting on those big models to come in. Uh, I'm hoping this week or next week. I'm really, really anxious to get those models. Like, really bad. And, um... You know, and then when I get those come, I have the money for another one, so I'm going to order another one exactly after. And yes, it's a sword model. So, you know. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, I just said the goodbyes. And right now, I'm just going to throw in a few updates on what's been going on. Well, the past week, we've had friends come out, so we've been, uh, pretty busy. Then, on... Saturday, we left to go to St. John's, which is the Newfoundland capital, and that was a six-hour drive or whatever, so, um, we, I have a lot of road pictures, and a lot of, uh, well, a few equipment pictures I found, um, they're all gonna be on my cell, well, they're all on my cell phone, so they're gonna be in the mobile uploads album on my Facebook page, Heavy Holler Tyler. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, there's, oh, let me see, what else is there? Oh, oh yeah, and we got, uh, we got a new vehicle. We got a Nissan Murano, I don't know if anybody would know what that is, it's a SUV. Very mm -hmm. nice machine. <clears throat> just got it this morning, actually. And, uh, you know, so we're back now, and I'm here for the, uh, week, and I'll be making videos and whatnot, especially if those models come, you'll be seeing a few videos, but, um, you know, there's not a whole lot else to say, um, I guess you guys know, I got that picture coming in the mail, and the Ice Roll Truckers, um, DVD. I already have all those episodes watched now. Now I'm going to probably try to buy the second season. Um, okay, so now, 
what I'm going to show you guys is uh, something that I take a lot of pride in. And this is my new and improved Canadian style Mac Granite. So I guess you guys can see that it's actually wicked, wicked sweet. I'll show you guys exactly what I've done to this model to make it my own favorite type model. Like it's like I love all the modifications I've done to this. We'll start off with well the wide load band that comes with it so that's but you know where the uh, Mac comes with a grill guard that comes up around there I think I have it here somewhere Mac came with this grill guard like that you know but anyways um, I dislike grill guards because, uh, no offense to the Americans, but it's really an American thing. So, because you don't see it around here. So, uh, basically, I hauled that off. And now I just have the Big Mac logo there, which I really like. And, um, I put the wide load banner on because it was pulling the low boy, but I'll just haul this off for a second. And as you can see, I have an old, well, I have a few of these now, but downstairs I have a few old, well not enough downstairs, they're right below my desk right now, but a few old Norscott trucks that I pulled the uh, mud flaps off. And up in Canada here, um, I think, well pe the States has them too, I think some places, we have these front mud flaps. So what I did was I just took a bit of glue cut the tops of them to length so they would glue on to the uh, inside of the bumper nicely and that's what I did and now the Mac has front mud flaps which uh, I'm a huge 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 fan of it looks really cool nice cat mud flaps on there um, you know and uh, another thing I done was since I use this for my belly dump now I took the uh, headache rack off, so there's no need of it now. And I also pulled off a mud flap and bent this one down, so it looks more used, which I'm a fan of because, uh, well, it just looks cool. You know, like not every truck has perfect mud flaps. Like I don't like that. That's just too fancy. I like a good rugged truck. And here's the, uh, I put the first gear tow hitch on here for the tag trailer. If I wanted to fit it, but I don't usually do that. I just have it here anyway. Um, you know, fifth wheel. Looks used. Um, you know, got a little light bar on top. Um, you know, there's the mud flaps. Looks real sharp. Looks really sharp. Nigel's gonna love this. But yeah, that's, uh, you know, I'm gonna. Now that, um, I'm gonna start customizing a few of my models a little bit, like throwing pieces on here and there, and taking pieces off, like, like the Pete gear. I tore off these, uh, the rear fenders, so now it only has one over the drop axle. So, uh, cause, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> Nodule also did that just to make it because uh, I don't like fenders like if I get the sword T800 uh, low boy if I get that um, you know like I'm not going to put the fenders on it because I don't like fenders on trucks I like just the rear tires and especially the Kenworth the Kenworth's tri-drive so, putting all the axles down, 
and tier and defend well defender so I won't even put them on and there you go because I just like it that way but yeah here's the uh, Mac on the Talbert awesome awesome looking truck now uh, if anybody has them uh, they just come on like the rear of Norscott trucks let me see if I can find one Well, these are these are plastic, but you know the old Kimworth Mural trucks. Well, these here are plastic, but you can just tear these off and you're good to go. These came off the tr the ones I have on the Mac came off the trailer for this. I don't know if that's in scale or not. A bit big, don't you think? Next to a Norscott truck. I mean, a first gear truck. Or is it? I don't know. But anyways, I'm not a fan of this truck. So, I kind of... I like the truck, but I'm not a fan of the, the model itself. So, I'm using it for whatever I can. Parts and whatnot. Um, I might do some sort of custom to it someday, but who knows. But yeah, like I said, if you want to put mud flaps on the front of your truck, if you have cat ones... Or, uh, I have some Peterbilt ones downstairs, which I might even try putting on the Pete 367. Um, you know, just haul them off and get a bit of glue and cut them down so they, uh, they're not so long, so they don't drag on the ground. And, uh, throw them on there. So, yeah, I just, I just took them off this, off this rear piece here. So, it's pretty simple. But it's very nice. There's a 950H on there. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's my Komatsu models up there. I'm gonna try to put some, like... My cream models will go on that one. 